How's it going today guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. A lot of people were wondering where I've been for the last week and I was on a trip to Mexico, but I did a vlog of the trip. I have that with my editor now, so I'm hoping to get that back in the next couple of days to share with you guys. But what I want to talk about today in this video is a question that I get probably on a weekly basis. And that is from people who are looking to start their own YouTube channel, but they don't necessarily want to do what I'm doing right here. They don't want to put themselves on camera. They don't want to videotape themselves. They're kind of more reserved, but they still want to capitalize on this huge opportunity to build a following and potentially make money from YouTube. And so what I want to show you guys in this video is two different ways how you can make money on YouTube without recording any videos yourself. And I just wanted to mention as well, this video was inspired by a video I saw by Kevin David. Uh, so anytime I see a video that inspires a video that I do, I always like to give credit where credit is due. And so one of these is a strategy that he outlined, but I'm going to take it just one step further. So let's go ahead and hop into my computer here and I'm going to show you guys how you can start making money on YouTube without making any videos yourself. So the first method and my favorite method is to create a fan page for somebody that you already idolize or like watching their videos on YouTube. I want to show you guys a perfect example of one right here. This is called the Gary Vaynerchuk fan page. It has over 143,000 subscribers and I am almost guaranteeing you this channel is making over $10,000 per month just because I know in this category ad rates are much higher than other areas of YouTube. I would say for this person specifically, they're probably making about $10 per thousand views, whereas most people on YouTube are probably making about $3 per 1,000 views. And that's because of the fact that this is the motivational niche and it's people who are watching these videos who are trying to better themselves or learn more about making money. And so it's a very desirable niche for advertisers or audience of people to go after. Now, I just want to say this right here. If you go here into the about section of this channel, you can see that it has a description of Gary Vaynerchuk. And then it says this channel is run by a Gary V fan. This is a fan page. Please subscribe to Gary's official channel. And this channel is approved by Team Gary V right here at the bottom. So this person here has spent probably hundreds, if not thousands of hours putting together these videos, taking Gary Vaynerchuk's videos and speeches and turning them into these small little highlight videos. So they've put a lot of effort and energy into this channel. So you want to make sure that before you dump all kinds of time and energy into creating a fan page, you actually have permission from that influencer. And it's funny because just about a week ago, I had somebody email me and they said, hey, I want to make some motivational videos for YouTube. I was wondering if I had permission to use your content as long as I, uh, you know, link your video in the description and give you credit and have a link to your channel. And I said, absolutely, that's no problem because I'm not venturing or losing anything. They're making these videos. They're making the motivational videos. They're going to link to me so my audience becomes larger and they're going to make some money in the process once they begin or once they begin running ads. So there's countless influencers out there where you could reach out to them and ask them, hey, could I create a fan page on your behalf? Then you're going to take their videos and you're going to make small little highlight reels or some kind of compilation videos. And so this channel right here, like we said, just about 150,000 subscribers. And if we look at Gary V's page, his channel, you know, he has almost 2 million subscribers. So you want to find an influencer who I would say has at least a couple hundred thousand subscribers, but a million subscribers or more would be great. Uh, but you definitely want to reach out to them and ask permission because these videos are obviously the property of Gary Vaynerchuk or whoever uploads them. So don't spend a bunch of effort making these videos, then putting them on YouTube only to find yourself getting a copyright strike a couple of weeks later. Always ask for permission. So how many views is this Gary Vaynerchuk fan page getting per month? I went on Social Blade and took a look. And in the last 30 days, that is 1.6 million views. And as you can see here, the views have just been trending upwards for this channel here. As Gary Vaynerchuk is becoming more and more popular, more people are searching for him, more people are finding this fan page and watching these videos. So this right here is a perfect example of how you can make money on YouTube, not making your own videos, not putting yourself out there, just by creating a fan page for an influencer that you already know and respect, and then uh, making sure they're okay with you running ads on those videos 
But I would say most people will have no problem with this because you're helping them to spread awareness and to build their brand. And then the second method for making money on YouTube without making any of your own videos is the method that Kevin David talked about in his video. I think it's a great idea and that is making these top five videos on YouTube. And this is content that people absolutely love. There are so many versions of these types of channels. One of the more popular ones is called Dark Five. Um, they have just about 2.2 million subscribers and all they do is make these top five videos on these different curiosity topics. So as you can see here, five mysterious photos from Mars, the five strangest photos of World War II, the five most secret military aircraft. So they're making these videos that are very interesting, they have catchy thumbnails, and they get people to click on them and watch them more importantly. Now the videos themselves, as you can see here, are not very long. Six minutes, five minutes, five minutes, four minutes. So these are very short videos and they really don't take that much time to create. If you watch these videos, there's limited editing going on here and there is a narration, but we're gonna get to that later on because you actually don't have to record that narration yourself if you don't want to. But what you're doing is looking for videos like this where there's already interest in this topic or demand for it and making your own version of these videos. But now you might be asking yourself, wait a second, I don't have any videos of World War II or secret military aircrafts. That is where Creative Commons comes in. Creative Commons is basically a way where people can share videos or photos or things online and they allow it to be used by the community. So you can use it in some cases for personal use or any kind of commercial use. And so you're allowed to use that content and then use it somewhere else with or without making changes and it allows you to monetize that content. So you wanna make sure if you're following this method to use Creative Commons videos only, otherwise you could possibly get a copyright strike on your channel. And it basically comes down to whether or not what you are doing with that content is considered to be fair use. Um, it's not an area you want to be in. These uh, you know, legal battles over fair use can be very expensive and time consuming and there's not really a set guideline on it. So you're gonna wanna keep yourself out of trouble. Either use Creative Commons videos or reach out to the owner of that video and explicitly ask for permission to use it in one of these top five videos. But YouTube makes it very easy to do this here. Let's say, for example, you were going to do a video called Top 5 Unexplained Area 51 Videos. Area 51 obviously being the secret military base or something uh, that there's a lot of interest in on uh, YouTube. Uh, so let's say we type in Area 51 and we'll see what comes up. And as you can see, there are some videos right here. Uh, disturbing video of Area 51 was revealed. What happens if you accidentally enter Area 51? So all these videos are getting a fair amount of views here. These YouTubers disappeared after being held at Area 51, five, uh, 500,000 views. So there's a lot of interest in this. Here's an Area 51 documentary that got 325,000 views. But what you can do here is you go to the filter button and then you're going to click on Creative Commons under features, and this is going to only be showing you videos that are listed under Creative Commons that you will be allowed to use in your own video. And as you can see, there are a lot of videos here to potentially choose from if you're looking to grab different clips and different videos for this Area 51 compilation that you're doing. And now obviously you can pick any niche out there for these top five videos. You could do top five fastest cars, uh, top five um, whatever you wanna do, top five funniest videos. The number one thing is use Creative Commons videos or explicitly ask for permission to use that content. But let's say now, for example, you're looking to spice up your top five video and you wanna add a narration to it, but you don't actually wanna record a narration yourself. That is where you can jump over to Fiverr. And on Fiverr, you can literally just pay people to record a narration for you. So I've never used any of these people. I've never had a narration recorded because I'm fine with doing it myself. But if you're looking to basically automate this entire process, not use your own voice, not use your own videos, you can go on Fiverr, look up narration here, and let's just pick some random person here. So this one right here, they have over 1,600 reviews here for five stars, so I'm sure it's a very good quality narration. And as you can see here, based on how many words you're looking for, it's gonna be a set rate. So let's say for a video, it's gonna be 500 words, that's gonna cost you $60, 
And as long as you're making more than that in ad revenue, that would be something where you're actually making money. Now, it's gonna take a while to build any YouTube channel, whether it's a fan page, whether it's a YouTube channel you're doing yourself, or whether it's one of these top five style YouTube channels. So you definitely wanna be patient with it, and I would say give it no less than six months of honest hard work and effort before you begin to say, okay, you know, is this really gonna work for me? Because it took me on my channel uh, about six months to get 10,000 subscribers and seven weeks just to get 100. So it's gonna be slow at first, but this is a very interesting way to begin making money on YouTube without having to make videos yourself or you know doing any kind of recording. You can just use what's already available out there online. And then obviously for those who are not familiar, the way you're going to make money with this is to run ads on your YouTube channel. And before people watch that video, when they view the ads or click on them, you're going to get paid by Google and you can make money with your YouTube channel. Um, but anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of this strategy. If you're already following it yourself, let me know how it's going for you. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.